Hi, I'm Jeff from Jeff's Bronco Grave here. I'd like to welcome to our April new products video. Our first new product is this replacement seat foam. This is for the 92 to 96 Bronco with bucket seats and the 92 to 97 F series with bucket seats. This is a lower foam made just like the factory. Really nice. These break down over the years. So this is here made here in the United States. It's really simple. Basically, you take the seat out of the truck, take the back off, and there's clips, you just pop the clips off and the cover comes off, pop the new one in, put the clips back on, away you go. Again, re lower replacement seat pad or foam for the 92 to 96 Ford Bronco and 92 to 97 F-Series pickup with bucket seats. This fits the drivers and the passenger side. And our next new products for the 92 to 96 Bronco and 92 to 97 F-Series pickup this is a replacement armrest. This one here, we came out with the Royal Blue. These are really nice sole in pairs. What's nice about these, we went to a two piece construction. The originals were a three piece and they separate. So what this is, you got the lower, the backing plate here, which you screw it into your door panel. And the rest is a self skinning urethane for the whole thing. It's a really nice piece. Again, these are replacement armrests for the 92 to 96 Ford Bronco, 92 to 97 F series pickup. This is the royal blue color. Again, we sell them in pairs. They'll be available shortly. And our next new products from Carpenter Industries, this is bezel removal tool. This fits the 73 to 79 Ford pickup, 78, 79 Bronco. This tool is used to remove the ignition bezel on your dash, put it on there, put a wrench on here. It's non-marring, screws it off the ignition switch. Again, nothing's been available. Carpenter Industry come up with this. Again, this ignition bezel removal tool. Again, fits the 73 to 79 F-Series pickup, 78, 79 Ford Bronco. And our next new product is this air box. This fits the 87 to 95 Ford Bronco and the 87 to 95 F-Series pickup. It's a two-piece construction. We've had both pieces redone. These get brittle over time due to engine heat. This is a brand new unit. Comes with the upper and lower. Comes with the mounting hardware. Basically on both the other one and bolt it in place. Again, replacement air box for the 87 to 95 Ford Bronco and 87 to 95 F-Series pickup, regardless of motor. This fits the six cylinder, the 302, the 351 Windsor, the 460, and the diesel. Again, brand new from the Bronco Graveyard. And for our April Web Truck of the Month, we have Brad Cummler's 1990 Modified Bronco 2. You'll enjoy the video. Hope to see you again next month. It is a 1990 Bronco 2. About three years ago, I, uh, my wife and I were looking to get a, another rig. We have full-size Bronco, but we wanted to do some crawling, and full-size is just too big. So we looked at a bunch of Michigan, and they were all rotted out. So we're like, all right, expand our search. Went down to Kentucky, found this, brought it back. When I first got this, it had a little four inch lift on it with 235 tires. And it stayed that way for about six months. And I put the Duff 5.5 uh, stage three kit on it. And then I took that off and we did solid axle swap. And, and that wasn't good enough. So plated the frame, coilovers, Solid axle swap. It's got 488 gears, air lockers front and rear. It's got an Atlas 4.3 transfer case. It's got a mild 347 with aluminum heads. Basically an RV cam, all low RPM stuff. Um, I had 36 BFGs on it, 37s. They only measured 36. And I kept on getting hung up on the diff when we were out there out crawling and stuff. So okay. we're like, all right, it's time for 40s, even though I would tease Dan. I was never going to put 40s on it. I put 39s on it just to spite him. However, the price of tires, it was cheaper to get 40s. And we had Method B grips, blew the rim off of that twice. And I'm like, all right, it's time for bead locks. It's a uh, C4 Trans built by uh, a guy in Westland. Um, I built it first and messed up forward clutch. And so I'm like, all right, time to get it professionally built. But the engine I did, the axles are actually out of Dan's old B2. Uh, it was originally a full width that was narrowed six inches. 
and it's got an Explorer 8.8 .8 in the rear. The rear is trussed. I've got anti-rock sway on the front and a TK1 sway in the rear. Okay. They're Fox 2.0 coilovers. Uh, PSC RAM, because once you put big tires on it, when you're in an obstacle, you can't turn if you don't have additional assist. Right. Uh, interior is basically stock. We popped the rear glass out and put some, had some mesh windows made by the father-in-law. We, we put coilovers over it on it. I stretched the rear 10 inches and we did a four link in the rear. And that was a game changer with flexing. The only thing that's 1990 about it right now is the frame and the body. Everything else has been changed. <laughs>